All right. All right, let's have a look at our cables and see if you can still see the writing on it. This is plus and the other one is minus. We can actually measure some voltage here. We can, 26 volts. Hang on, I'll show you. Ah, right, come on. Here we go. 26 volts. Just for a moment. And there's no negative symbol in front of the numbers, so we've got the right polarity. If I change them over, we should have a minus. Yeah, we should have a minus. So, I did it the correct way. You really need to pay attention to what you do and how to crimp these connectors to make it work. So plus minus, this is all perfectly connected now. Excellent. All right, so the final step would be to pull these cables through and solder them to the switch and these two terminals. So and then we've got a 40 watts, 40 watts, 220 watts panel and can do all kind of testing here on the workbench. I'm super pleased with this result. Okay, let's get this done and then we can celebrate. Well, why don't you celebrate with me and click on this subscribe button down below and you can follow my journey to take the garage off grid. Thank you very much if you have already. Well, I finally got it done. It was a bit tricky to get this link between the terminal and the contact of the switch in place because this metal gets so hot it solders on both ends at the same time and it fell off a couple of times. Uh, well, this is as good as it gets, I think. These little contacts here of the switch are certainly not designed to carry a 4mm cable now. They are probably for 0.2 millimeter cables, but not for 4 millimeter cables. But I think I've done a reasonably good job, as good as it can get. And we have enough solder in between to get good contacts. The maximum current coming from the solar panel is 8 amps. So it's not overly too much and the, and the switch can actually handle over 10 amps. So that's all good. Okay, I'll put everything together and then we can have a last measurement. I'm not sure if we get any voltage here. It's yeah, it's quite dark outside already. But just for a test, oh, we should test this probably right now. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm getting half a volt in this darkness <laughs> still. And when I turn off the switch, and it goes to zero. So it is working and it has the right polarity. So that's all good. You can put everything together and then test it again tomorrow. And there we go. And have another look here. Yeah, we've got definitely enough enough cable. I cleaned them up later on and put a loop in here and a cable tie. Clean them up a little bit. All right guys, so far this video from today. Thank you as always for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and we will see us again in the next video very soon. Thanks guys, see you then, bye.